Alright guys, how's it going? So I received a pretty informative comment on YouTube. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Kidding on. <laughs> and it was from Alien Soup. And it was a good reminder. There's always more than one way to do something inside of 3D. So today I'm going to show you how to decimate a curve. We'll take a look at enabling ghost curve, which basically just kind of shows you where your curve used to be. And we'll maybe add smooth keys on, just as an added bonus. So we'll spin the default cube of mystery, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly jump into the camera view, and I'll select the camera, and I'm just going to create some quick keyframes, so I'll just use the exact same process, I'll hit record, I'll hit play, and I'll jump into my walk and fly navigation. And all I'm doing is basically laying down a track here, just so we've got something to work for, that'll be plenty. And I'll quickly jump into my graph editor. Now the shortcut for this is shift and F6, but I've got it set up here. Now I'm only going to concentrate on one channel at the moment, so we'll just concentrate on something like the Y location. So what I'm going to do is I'll hold down shift, I'll select these channels, I'll right click and I'll just quickly delete them. And we have something like this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to enable ghost keyframes. So I'll select all the keyframes that I want to make a ghost, I'll press F3 on my keyboard to bring up the search, and I'll search for create ghost curve. Now you won't necessarily see anything happening here, it, technically it sits right underneath perfectly. But when I actually hit F3, I'm going to search for decimate keyframes. You can see I now have two arrows on the UI, so when I go left, that'll actually add more keyframes, and when I go right, it'll reduce the keyframes. And underneath you can actually see the ghost curve. Now I'm just going to decimate the keyframes just a little bit. And I've severely reduced the keyframes. If you come down to the dialog box on the left hand side, you can see I'm at an 89% ratio. Now I can actually change this to error margin, which pretty much replicates, I believe it's a simplify curve. So ratio generally does give better results, and it does kind of stay to the original curve. And you can go all the way up. And that's pretty much how you decimate keyframes. It kind of tied these things up for you, and it makes it just a little bit easier when you're animating. Now one thing we can do is, let's say I want to smooth a curve, I can select these points, I can hit F3, and I can look for smooth. And you can see here, smooth keys. Now the shortcut for this is Alt and all, and it sometimes gives good results, it sometimes doesn't. But that's pretty much three functions in the graph editor. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel, it costs you absolutely nothing. Follow me on Twitter, you know what to do. Peace.